Very few people know what they want to do with their life before they reach adulthood, and even fewer people can give up their present for an uncertain future. Rory McElroy falls into that latter category. His story is one about rising from rags to riches, a story about how a high school dropout rose through the ranks to become the world's number one golfer. How exactly did Rory McElroy achieve this amazing feat? Join us and let's find out together. At age 16, Rory McElroy left school to focus more on golf. However, Rory didn't want to drop out of school because of his love for the game. He had the talent, training, and support to make his choice logical. Rory was born on the 4th of May, 1989, in Hollywood, County Down in Northern Ireland. He is the only child of his parents Jerry McElroy and Rosie McDonald. His father Jerry was an amateur golfer who worked several jobs. His mother Rosie worked at a local plant known then as the 3M plant, short for Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing Company. County Down, where Rory had his childhood, is well known for its scenic landmarks perfect for resorts and activities like golf. Since Jerry played the game as an amateur, and that was the prevailing sport in the neighborhood, Rory was already learning about golf before he could walk or talk. Rory fell in love with the game, usually finding solace in sleeping with a golf club by his side. By the time he was age two, he already knew how to properly handle a golf club, and by age four, Rory was already hitting 40-yard drives. Jerry found out that Rory had talent and an enthusiastic disposition for the game, so he ensured Rory was brought up in a way that would fuel his passion for golf. While trying to get his son to play golf, Jerry remembered his intellectual needs and ensured he was enrolled in school. Contrary to rumors and public opinion, Rory McElroy excelled in academics and golf and only left one for the other based on a conscious choice to be the best ever. Basic education for Rory happened at St. Patrick's Primary School in Hollywood. At St. Patrick, Rory showed interest in academics and golf. He combined school with golf, became a regular trainee at the Hollywood Golf Course, and became the club's youngest member at age 7. This set up Rory for one of the best careers in golfing history. Rory's early training and exposure to the game put him on the shoulders of golf giants whose mentorship and guidance led him to his first international victory as a golfer. Rory's first victory was the World Championship for the age 9 to 10 group bracket at the Doral Golf Resort and Spa in Miami, Florida. From that point onward, Rory knew he had a future in the game. Since his talent was becoming apparent, he wasn't afraid to show it off to the world. He appeared on TV, chipping golf balls into a washing machine. Rory followed that first victory with subsequent victories. As soon as his golfing attitude became apparent, his parents began working multiple jobs to keep up with the cost of training McElroy and ensuring his dream became a reality. After St. Patrick, Rory moved on to Sullivan Upper School for his high school education. While studying at Sullivan, Rory participated in the European winning team for the Junior Ryder Cup. He also played in the British Masters at age 15 in 2005. In 2006, Rory's path became even clearer when he became the youngest player to win the West of Ireland Championship and the Irish Clothes Championship at age 16. That same year, he also won the European Amateur title. The following year was a decisive one for Rory, as he had to decide whether to follow his dream or pursue higher education. Looking at how his career turned out, it is safe to say Rory made the right decision. In 2007, Rory turned professional signed with International Sports Management, and became the youngest affiliate member to earn a European tour card. This was the start of Rory's journey on the road to fame and success in golf. Rory started his career with a bang. He became the quickest man in history to earn his European tour card, doing it in two starts. He secured his European tour card for 2008 by finishing fourth at the Open de Madrid Valromano. Rory McIlroy went from making his first hole-in-one at age 10 to become the number one ranked amateur in the world for a week at age 17. Before the start of the 2008 season, Rory turned down an invitation from Tiger Woods to play at the 2007 Target World Challenge and the AT&T National. Instead, he stuck with the European Tour and played in the European Open. For the first time in his career, Rory made it to the top 200 in the official world golf ranking in 2008. By the end of that year, he was already ranked at number 39. An impressive finish at the South African Open earned him an invitation to the 2009 Masters Tournament. 
Rory's first win as a professional happened at age 19. He won the Dubai Desert Classic, and his ranking was bumped to number 16. Rory played impressively and finished high up on the leaderboards in important tournaments. By the end of the 2009 season, Rory broke into the top 10 rankings and was ranked number 9 on the official World Golf Ranking. In 2010, Rory switched from the European Tour to the PGA Tour. That year, he failed to defend his Dubai Classic, but finished third in the Abu Dhabi Golf Championship. His first win on the PGA Tour happened in the final round of the Quail Hollow Championship, and a tie for third at the 2010 Open Championship saw him bumped up to number 7 in the rankings. That same year, Rory participated in the Ryder Cup, playing for the European side. He contributed greatly to the team's success and decided he would return and play full-time on the European Tour. Rory appeared in the 2011 Masters Tournament. There, he made a new record, becoming the youngest player to lead the Masters Tournament at the end of the first day of the event. Unfortunately, Rory didn't win that tournament. He finished fifth. The most memorable tournament in the 2011 season was Rory's victory at the U.S. Open. He became the first player in the history of the U.S. Open to reach a score of 13 under par. After this historic win, he took a break from competitive golf, returning to play the WGC HSBC Champions, where he finished fourth. By the end of the 2011 season, Rory McIlroy clinched another win at the UBS Hong Kong Open and moved up to number two in the rankings. Rory's win at the Honda Classic in Florida finally got him to the number one best player in golf at this time. His win at the 2012 PGA Championship saw him retain that number one ranking for quite a while. To break Nicholas's record of seven. Can it be? That same year, Rory finished third in the FedEx Cup, won the Deutsche Bank Championship, and topped the PGA Tour money list. He also won the BMW Championship and became the first European on the PGA Tour to win four PGA titles in a single season. He also became the youngest man to win $10 million on the PGA Tour and 10 million euros on the European Tour. Rory dominated the game in a fashion not so different from how the legendary Tiger Woods dominated during his prime. Rory is one of three men, the others being Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods, to win four majors before the age of 25. He received an MBE in 2012 for his service to sports and has been named RTE Sports Person of the Year twice in 2011 and 2014. In 2014, Rory clinched the third major championship of his career by winning the Open Championship. Later that year, he won his fourth major, the PGA Championship. He participated in the 2015 Masters Tournament, but finished in fourth place. However, that same year, he won the WGC Cadillac Match Play. His second World Golf Championship win made him the third player to have 10 PGA Tour wins and four majors before age 25. Rory McIlroy is a Manchester United fan and had an injury while playing football in the summer of 2015. He injured his left anterior talofibular ligament and could not defend his Open Championship title. In 2016, Rory topped the FedEx Cup and earned a $10 million bonus pool. However, the following year he sustained a rib injury that took him out of action again. Rory has yet to have more major tournament wins, but there is still a lot of time for that to happen. Rory went from dropping out of high school to triumphing in four major tournaments including the PGA Championship in 2012 and 2014, the U.S. Open in 2011, the Open Championship in 2014, and the Players' Championship in 2019. In addition, he has four Race to Dubai victories and four European Tour Golfer of the Year. He spent 95 weeks at the top of the official World Golf Rankings between 2012 and 2015 and has been victorious in 20 other foreign competitions and 22 other PGA Tour events. If you enjoyed this video about how a high school dropout became the world's number one golfer, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there!